All right, we got it all dumped out here. You can see two nice solid through holes with the nuts, the piping for the uh, pump. This is for the water side. This is your discharge piping. Got your pump, switches, spray barn, all the wire you need. So essentially just buy one thing and it gives you everything you need to wire, wire up and plumb you a brand new uh, live well if you build one your boat. All right, so here's the fun part. Like I say, that kit is nice. I'm glad I found it. Because I didn't have to worry about trying to find the right size through holes. I didn't have to worry about finding the spray bar. Everything I needed was in that one kit. So it made it real, real nice. Uh, I'll put a link to the kit on uh, the description down at the bottom. But all right, it's time to get this live well done. Here's the outside of the live well. Right here is the outside of the boat. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a through hole right here, going toward the outside. Originally, I was talking about plumbing it where everything would go from here, catch a pipe, and then go to the back. Well, I've got rid of that idea. I'd rather it be a short run, just like my big boat. So once I found this kit that had all this stuff in it, might as well. I'm gonna go right out the side right here. That's an inch and a half through hole. We're gonna come right through the side of the tank. I've already, already drilled the hole for this through hole. Got it in. And what we'll do is we'll put one here. Just tack it in for now. Got it pushed all the way up tight. All right, so right there's how that one's gonna be oriented. And now I can go ahead and get this one figured out where it's gonna go through. And as you can see, they're pretty close to each other. So I've got a clamp that'll work good for that instead of having to use a hose. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. But right now we're just trying to mark where I'm gonna drill this hole through the side of the boat. Like I say, uh, nothing more intimidating than drilling a hole through the side of a boat, but this won't be too bad. It's above the water line, so it won't be that big of a problem. I'm making sure that it's below this one. So I'm going downhill about a half an inch, so that's perfect. So water's gonna have a tendency to run and run out as it fills up. It won't have a tendency to lay here. So that should be good. We'll go ahead and mark this thing on the side of the boat. This is the outside of the flange on it, on the outside. I tried to find an area that's nice and smooth. It didn't have no big bends in it so that everything will lay nice and flat, but that worked out perfect. So I marked outside of the uh, flange. Now all I'm gonna do is just mark dead center of this. And that's eyeballing it, that's pretty close. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and drill a 3 16 hole right through there and that'll be the pilot hole and then we'll drill it from the outside back toward this. All right, so we got that figured out. Now, I've already drilled the hole here for the spray bar. You can see I have a hole right here because I was going to put a pump out in it and I've decided it just ain't worth putting a pump out so I'm just going to catch this uh, pipe right here with a pipe that runs to the back and it dumps literally right on top of the bilge pump. So when you pull this plug, the water will drain all the way to the back, dump right on top of the bilge pump, and then get pumped out that way versus trying to figure out a way to pump it out anywhere else. And that saves me from having to buy one more pump. That kit also included the spray bar. Everything's ready to go on it. Uh, I drilled it to where originally I was going to put it in this hole right here. The only problem with putting it in that hole, it puts it about three inches off the edge here and I know what ended up happening. I'll end up throwing a fish on, in it from up front and snapping it off. So I'd rather it be protected. So I went ahead and drilled an inch and a sixteenth hole up underneath this lip right here. And we'll go ahead and get that installed. Temporary. So there we go. And that way it sprays and it won't be to where I can hit it. It's covered. It's protected. So that thing there should last a long time. Should never have to replace it. And we're just going to catch it with a water line coming from the back. It's going to have its own separate pump. There's going to be no uh, sharing pumps. So I've got a 750 gallon pump into this one, and I've got a 500 gallon pump into the back one. Reason why I went with 750 on this because it's pumping the water about 15, 16 feet total. So that way it uh, gives it a little bit extra power to get the water pushed up here and have a little force going in the tank. All right, we've got all the holes drilled. Let me go ahead and drill the hole through the side of the boat and. We're ready to hook all this up and get all this deck finished up 100%. All right, scary part. 
Take your time. Don't try to force the bit through it. Let the bit do the work. There we go. Big old hole in the side of the boat. Now we slap this right in here. Just like that. It'll work out nice the way the water when it comes out of the overflow will just run right out here i'll go ahead and stick this 3 16th rivet back in there and we'll be good to go all right it's time to go ahead and put this through hole in i'm gonna we'll go ahead and put a bead of sealer around it i like to use the stuff i use for metal roofs it dries not hard but it dries firm and it'll stretch a mile Another trick you can use anytime I do one below the water line, I always take an O-ring that's big enough to slide over the threaded part, stick an O-ring on first. If this is below water, I would. Stick an O-ring on it first, and then when you put the sealer around it, what'll happen when you put this thing in, the O-ring will actually cause it to stand out about a sixteenth, maybe even a light eighth of an inch away from the hull. But once you put that sealer on it and you do that, what that'll do is it'll create about a 16th to an eighth inch gasket around it. Where if you just put sealer on it without anything to space it, when you shove it in there, a lot of times all that sealer just squirts out around it and then you've literally got a, you know, super thin layer between it. But if you put that O-ring, it gives you two seals because the O-ring is going to seal it anyway and then that extra material around it will seal it and make like a gasket in it. All right. All right, that part's done. Let's move in, put the nut on it, and we'll put a little sealer around the inside. Right, you can see where the sealer oozed out around it anyway. So this really ain't necessary, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyhow. Better safe than sorry. Plus that little bit of sealer in there will help prevent this thing from ever trying to back off. But it is soft enough that if you ever need to take it off, you can. Now that we got that one done, it's time to go in and install the uh, through hole coming from this side. And you see when it goes in there, it's gonna be really, really close to that one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and use this right here. Instead of using a hose, this is made for plumbing purposes. It'll last forever for the most part. It's made out of a good quality rubber and it'll slide right over the two of them. Like this right here. I'll go ahead and put it in there and it's got just enough flex that I can pull it up and clamp it down and it'll give me a good watertight seal. And it'll also give a nice little vibration damper. We'll go ahead and get the sealer on this part right here and go ahead and get them clamped in. Alright, just like before. Put a small bead around the inside of it. Don't take a whole lot. And like I say, if this here ain't that big a deal. Ain't gonna have a lot of pressure on it. There you go, inside. This slid up where it goes. Both clamps on the top here where I can get to them. Get it right where we want it.
There we go. Like I said, I've got a nice little shock absorber here so the boat bouncing and flexing, it won't make a hard spot in the boat. The boat should be able to flex and do everything it normally does. This tank going to, ain't gonna affect it any. All right, we got that part buttoned up. Now let's move on to the spray bar. Essentially, we're gonna do the same thing with the spray bar. Just put us a little dab of sealer around it, stick it in. Plenty of sealer sticking out the back side on that one, so I ain't even gonna worry about putting any more on it. There we go. I got the sprayer pointing down. Slightly down, slightly to the rear. All right, that should be perfect. It's oriented where it's pointing pretty much straight down, maybe a little bit to the front, and I can reach the uh, knob under here with no problem. That's good. Tank is plumbed. Now let's hook up all the goodies right here and we're done. Okay, there it is. Tank's 100% finished. All I gotta do is go ahead and drop the uh, top back on it and finish up the front deck and we can move on to the next thing. I got my through holes in, got the drain straight out the side, got my spray bar hooked up, three quarter inch spray bar. I run it to a piece of uh, three quarter PEX uh, plumbing pipe coming from the back and just put a nipple on both ends. That way I can keep it running nice and uphill. And there's the drain for the actual tank if you wanna pull it and pull the plug. Originally, we had talked about going from here down to here, catching this, and then going to the back, but this is a short distance. I found two good uh, inch and a half through holes and a kit that I got. I'll put a video up of that kit. Worked out real, real nice. Had everything I needed to do this. Uh, I'll put the video of the kit. I'll put it up in the corner. We can see what I got. All right, it's time to go and get this thing covered up and move on to the next step. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them, and I'll answer them as soon as I can. Like I say, I can't wait to fill this thing up with crappy. Talk to you next time. Stay tuned.